Welcome to Hope Happenings. This show is made possible by Channel 3 and the Hope Center. This month we want to focus on Pastor Appreciation Month, our annual fall banquet, and more fall treats. October is that time of year to express gratitude to your pastor and the pastoral staff at your church. The Hope Center would like to um, thank those churches that support us this month. And those churches are Alquina United Methodist Church, Bentonville Christian Church, Calvary Baptist Church, Central Christian Church, Christ Jesus Community Church, Christ Church of Connorsville, Community Gospel Church, Connorsville Baptist Church, Eastside United Methodist Church, Everton Community Church, First Baptist Church, First Presbyterian Church, First United Methodist Church, Growing Branches for Christ, Higher Praise Worship Center, Mount Pleasant Community Church, New Heights Christian Church, Orange Christian Church, Park Place Church of God, Pentecostal Tabernacle of Connorsville, St. Gabriel's Catholic Church, Trinity Praise and Worship, Western Avenue Baptist Church, and Woodland Bible Church. Thank you to all the churches that support us and to the pastors. Here are some suggestions to kickstart those creative juices. Send lots of cards and letters to, of personal notes to your pastors to encourage them. That means a lot to them. Laminate bookmarks created by the children in your youth department at your church. Tape a, take a, I'm sorry, take a group photo of all church members in front of your church building and put it in a really nice frame and deliver it to him on that special day. Well, that was a lot of churches to read through. <laughs> it was. I got a little tongue-tied, and I think <laughs> um, I do need to say it was Connorsville Baptist Temple. Um, I got that wrong there, but we do have a lot of churches, and we're very thankful for those churches that support us and um, to the pastors because they're the ones that encourage right. the support as well. So we want to thank them. Yes, we do want to thank them. And we appreciate your generosity and your support. Right. A video presentation of pastors in action of this past year would also be a special tribute. Or maybe you could surprise them with an office makeover um, and have the support of the pastor's wife in doing that. Some fresh paint, updated decor, and new furniture could also um, lift his spirits. Well, I'm all about the chocolate, you guys. Oh, yeah. So what about <laughs> filling a jar with your pastor's favorite candy like M&Ms or Reese's? Or maybe your pastor likes golf. I would just ask other church members to partner with you and fill a basket with his favorite things. But let's not forget our pastor's wives. Mm -hmm. I have several dear friends who are pastor's wives, and in my years of working in my church, I can tell you the pastor's wife is or should be the heartbeat of your church. She probably sets the tone for leadership in a lot of your church activities. They are vital to the ministry, and they need love and appreciation as well. Switching gears, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Domestic violence is defined as physical, mental, or verbal assaults. It is a myth that domestic violence only happens in low-income families. The truth is domestic violence happens in all kinds of families, rich and poor, urban, suburb, and rural, in every part of the country, in every race, religion, and age group. If you are a victim of domestic violence or in a situation, please call the Hope Center at 825-1244 and let us refer you to someone that can help. Well, ladies, it's banquet time yes. again. <laughs> Our annual Celebration of Life banquet is October 15th at the Miller Building. We are excited to be entering into our 18th year of service to Fayette County and surrounding counties. And we're also excited to host our 14th banquet. Can you believe we've been doing this for 14 years? I know, it's right? yes, a know. long time. So this banquet is a fundraising banquet that helps us raise money for all of our programs. And um, we just want the public to know that if you are interested in attending the banquet, to please call our center at 825-1244. And we wanted to let you know that our seats are limited and the invitations are given by table hosts. Well, since all of our services are free to our clients, we sustain ourselves with grants and monthly donors, which can be individuals or churches, and fundraisers. And this banquet is our largest fundraiser of the year. 
No pressure, lady. <laughs> <laughs> and we always look forward to it. I want to share with you some statistics that we have um, gathered. This year, Indiana rather ranked 32nd in national overall child well-being, a drop of five spots from last year's report. Indiana's lower ranking is due to minor improvements made in other states. Indiana's child poverty statistics are one contributing factor to our lower, lower rankings. Currently, 345,000 Hoosier children live in poverty, which translates to more than one in five kids. However, there, are some, there is some good news. The percent of Hoosier babies born with low birth weight is now below the national average. Also, the percentage of teens who abuse drugs and alcohol fell from 8% to 6% in 2013. While the Hope Center may only play a very small role in these statistics, we are making a difference one teen at a time. If you would like to read more about this information on this topic, please visit IYI.org. And speaking of IYI, I want to thank them for their recent grant that they gave to the Hope Center. This grant is going to allow us to attend a conference at the Community Development Professionals Building in Ohio. I'm always excited about that conference. It's a really good conference. It is. It's three days, but it's so worth it, and mm -hmm. it wouldn't be possible without IYI. Yeah. So we appreciate their partnership. We also want to say thank you to Rush Shelby Energy for their recent grant. This grant will allow us to update our curriculum for our Parenting with Hope classes. Well, coming up next, ladies, we're going to go to our new kitchen set and make some full treats. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> I hope you'll stay tuned with us and um, make these treats with your family. The Hope Center is in need of volunteers. Some areas of need are housekeeping, volunteer nurses, advocates, and cradles child care. If there is a particular area of the center that touches your heart, that's where you can donate your time, talent, and treasure. If you are interested in volunteering at the center, please call 825-1244 or visit our website at hopecenterconnorsville.com and click on Get Involved. Welcome back. I hope you like our new kitchen set. We tried it out last month and we had a lot of positive response. So we're kind of going to go with it. Yeah. Well, I love it. I do so too. So we want to say thank you to John Palsy for all your hard work in making this kitchen a reality for us. The Hope Center takes the whole family approach. And because we are strong about family units, we want to share fun treats you can make with your family. What are and you making today? Today, I'm going to make Frankenstein pudding cups. Mm -hmm. And so, as I'm making it, um, I want to give you, I need your help. Okay. And so, I'm going to give you some cups, and you're going to make faces on them. So, um, I've already made a couple, and uh, we're just so going to fill them with green pudding, and we're going to um, smash up some Oreo cookies. So, here's a cup. Oh, okay. I smash. And <laughs> you can smash, too. I brought I stuff. <laughs> And you can pick your color. I brought markers so you can um, oh, draw away oh. and make your faces as I make the pudding. Okay. okay. So you can use um, green pistachio pudding or you can use vanilla pudding and um, put in food coloring. So today I'm going to put um, use vanilla pudding and we're going to pour it in a bowl. And it takes two cups of cold milk. So we're going to pour the milk in there. And then as you're um, pouring the milk, you want to start stirring it and you're gonna whisk it for about two minutes and get it nice and um, thick and mix it all around. How's your faces? I'm not feeling creative today. I'm not gonna quit my day job. No, <laughs> mine either. I'm not much of an artist, so yeah. we're kind of winging it. Well, that's okay. It. It's fun. Okay, and then you're going to put in um, enough food coloring to to turn turn the uh, pudding green. So however green you want it, you'll put some in, mm. and uh, and then you're going to mix it around again so that it turns green. 
I noticed you were using gel food coloring. I am. I like that much better than the, the oh, liquid yeah. stuff. It doesn't it's stain. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It only takes one time to knock liquid food coloring over <laughs> and right. scrubbing it off your fingers and your counter and you know not to do that. That again. is true. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm mixing this up, making sure it's turning green and it's thickening up a little bit. Okay, ladies, do you have your cups finished with your faces? Yeah, I think so. I can't really kind of plain pick an expression, so I don't really know if my guy is happy I think it or looks not, great. I think really it looks great. It. And this is fun to do with your kids because then they can um, make their own faces on their cups and they can uh, just have a lot of fun with that and they can um, use the food coloring. coloring. Kids like to do the food coloring because then it, um, they like to watch the the stuff turn different colors. Mm -hmm. So, here's the um, the cup, and we're gonna pour the food the uh, pudding Ooh, into the cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, some Oreos and make uh, like the hair or the top of the. Frankenstein's head. We're going to take some Oreos and put them in a plastic bag. And you can take a hammer or whatever you have at home to use, and you're going to smash them. <laughs> Step away. Do we need goggles or maybe? <laughs> maybe. So you're going to smash them up. Make sure they get all. Um, all smushed up. Smushed up here. And then once they're smashed, they're going you're gonna sprinkle them on top of your cup here. Mm. Oh, making a mess. And there you go. You have a little Frankenstein. That is cute. That is really cute. <laughs> you know, I think if you had kids coming over for a sleepover, mm -hmm. that would be like an activity that you that could do with be them idea. because they can be involved in the smashing and the drawing. And oh yeah, and it's um, it's an inexpensive um, item also to make mm -hmm. because the the packets of pudding are only like eighty nine cents or something like that. And sure. most people have milk at home. Mm -hmm. You just mix it all together and, mm -hmm. and voila you have a little treat for your your guests that oh, are a very like cute it. idea. I like it. Yeah. Good job. Okay, Jennifer. What all do you right. have today? Well I have ghosts and bones. This so sounds fun. How fun is that, <laughs> right? So these nutter butters are the perfect shape. Um, they already kind of have the shape of the bones, and so, um, or I mean of the ghost. Um, and you can do so many things with this, with that hourglass shape that they have. Um, maybe even Santa's, but shoo, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> can barely talk about Christmas will things, be here right? before we know it. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead, and I like to do this with forks because you don't waste so much. Like mm -hmm. you can just get off the excess. And I will tell you that this is just a candy quick tray that I heated in the microwave. And if you're doing a whole package of Nutter Butters like this, it takes two of these trays to do one of these. Okay. So you want to make sure and note that when you're buying um, your ingredients because you don't want to get home and run out of the white chocolate, right? Mm -hmm. um, so while I'm putting the eyes on, I'd like for you to make Ooh, bones. I get to make my own bones. Yes, we're interactive mm, today. Great. <laughs> All right, so I have used um, just the minis. And so, there are very many. <laughs> be able to fish them out of here. Um, and so, what you want to do is just put these on for the eyes. I'll do it upside down so it's facing everybody. And how cute is that? That was very, very cute. cute. Right. So, I want to point out that if you want to do the regular um, full-size chocolate chips, they make the bigger eyes. You can just kind of put those in versus the little. But I kind of like some variation. Um, if you do the mint, so on occasion, you know, you see the chocolate chips in different flavors. Mm -hmm. If you want to do the mint and like come out with some green eyes, you can do that. Um, I never was the parent that let my kids watch the red eyed mm -hmm. monsters on TV, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. <laughs> but if you want your ghost to have the red eyes, you can do the red M&Ms. Um, and so you could also do mini M&Ms. Right. Mm -hmm. For the yeah. eyes. I mean, there's so many yeah. variations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. All right, are we ready to? I'm ready. All right, let me put mine in there. 
So just toss them in there and we'll coat them all around. I kind of just like to have the spoon to just drizzle on top because mm -hmm. you want them to be really coated. Can you find them? <laughs> right? Just they kind of disappeared. <laughs> It's going to be fun. That would be fun for the kids to, you know, yeah. drop yeah. them in there and then they have to hunt them out and, right. I don't know, make it Maybe a little a game little or something. Messy, but right. it could be fun. Right. Yeah, see, it doesn't take much to impress us, you guys. We're easily entertained. <laughs> All right. See, when you get the white chocolate on it, doesn't that look like bones? Yeah. Yes. That's cute. That's cute. So kids will just think, you guys, I'm a nerd. I really like theme parties like this. I like making this kind of festive stuff um, to take to gatherings or to just have kids over because mm -hmm. they think it's fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to make. Mm -hmm. And I think you could probably even make it like an actual skeleton, like a stick mm -hmm. person. Oh, yeah. yeah. With this, that might be fun too. Yeah. And candy coat it. Mm -hmm. That, would, that be. would be interesting. Yeah. I mean, you can do so many things. Um, just be creative. It doesn't even take a Pinterest account to be creative. Just look sure. and see what you have in your pantry, right? Yeah. Um, I do want to point out, though, um, when I was buying uh, the marshmallows for this, the first bag that I picked up, they were kind of stuck together on the top. And so what I would recommend is just making sure that the marshmallows move freely in there because you don't want them all. I mean, if you're going to melt them. Oh, yeah. If you're going to make Rice Krispie treats, it'd probably be okay. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to pull them apart and you want individual ones, you want them to be able to move. Mm -hmm. So you don't want big globs stuck in there. So just be careful of that. Yeah. Humidity and marshmallows do not like each other. <laughs> um, so easy, right? Yeah. So I, I feel like good. it displays nice um, together, the ghosts and the bones. And one thing about it, I kind of love this one. Um, kind of with the white chocolate on it just to show you how you can just break this apart um, if you don't want that on there just to get it more to look like this. Like a bone. Like yeah, a bone. That yeah. Looks good. yeah. So if you don't get it all scraped off, um, you know, there's no reason to fret. You can do it after it dries. So hey, and it all goes to the same place. Your right? belly, <laughs> it all tastes good. It's all so. yummy. <laughs> right. Yeah. So there we go. What you got in? Okay, I have melted witch cookies. Ooh. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I, um, you can make or buy your peanut butter cookies, and I made mine. And then you need a bag of bugles, some M&Ms, whether they're mini or regular, whatever you have in your pantry, and some shredded wheat, and then um, some pretzel sticks. And so what I did was I made my cookies, and then I melted my chocolate, and I cut my shredded wheat into little pieces. Um, I don't know if we can get a camera shot, just a little, like half of it, maybe break them apart in different sizes. And then um, your pretzel stick, you wanna break that in half as well. So <clears throat> first, you're gonna want to cover your bugle in chocolate. And as you notice, there's gonna be a little bit of a tip here from where you hold on to it. I did not find an easy way to get the entire bugle covered in chocolate without making a, a big mess. So we're just gonna cover all of it but the tip. <clears throat> and we're gonna set this aside and let it dry. And then we're gonna ice the cookie. So maybe kids can be icing the cookies mm -hmm. while mom's doing the bugle, right. since the bugle kind of takes a little bit more skill, right? Uh, yes, it does take some time. And um, once you melt your chocolate chips, it does take quite a bit of time for them to dry. Um, so you just want to ice your cookie. And then this is your melted witch part. And then your bugle that's covered in chocolate, you just want to stick them somewhere on the cookie. Your pretzel is your broomstick. And then your shredded wheat, just pick one, and that is the end of your broom. So very cute. cute. Very cute. And so for the finishing touches on the bugle, I'm going to turn my plate so we can see a little better. I used a toothpick and just dipped it in the chocolate and got it real covered. See if it works out here. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. I know. And then just kind of paint it. Paint well, the top of it. Look at you, creative. The hotter the chocolate, the easier it will cover. And then, of course, once the whole bugle is dry, you could pick up the end of it and do, like, kind of flip it over and do the end. 
but I didn't have that kind of time and I'm kind of impatient <laughs> so I wanted it done now so the toothpick was the way that I did but if you want to wait you can always wait till the end of it dries and then dip the tip of the hat in the toothpick how long did you find that it takes for the bugles to dry um, probably a good three hours. I mean, okay. it was like a long time. And the cookie as well. Um, so if you're going to make these to take to a party, I would suggest that you make them maybe the day before and let them dry overnight. Um, even maybe two days would probably be okay. And that way you've got like the heart. And, okay. you know, as the chocolate dries, then your, your little hat's going to stick to it too. So there's no chance of that falling off. But this is... Um, a cute idea that That's you cute. could do with your family. The little ones would love breaking the pretzels or even breaking up the shredded wheat. You don't have to be an exact size um, for the shredded wheat. Even if you have like the little crumbles, you can pick those up and just sprinkle those on the end of the mm -hmm. pretzel to make that to be the, um, the witch's broom. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be fun. Yeah. When I see that, I instantly think of the Wizard of Oz the witch's <laughs> yeah. melting. <laughs> yeah, I did too. That was so, um, yeah, I mean, one of my favorite yeah. childhood right. shows. And yeah. so, yes, definitely, I thought Wizard of Oz all over it. And right. there's so many different things you can do that make look like melted witches. Mm -hmm. Like, you can do the Nutter Butters um, that are bite size, mm -hmm. and then put a melted... Um, chocolate chip or something on it and you could do the bugle as well mm -hmm. covered in it or just the melted chocolate chip and that would be like a acorn mm. have you seen those yeah those yeah. are cute yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. they are cute so and i saw them uh, with a big marshmallow mm. and you take the big marshmallow and you take um like this and you put food coloring in it mm -hmm. with orange and yellow and you cover it you layer it the mm -hmm. marshmallow and then you put a stick in it uh, like a pretzel stick in it mm -hmm. and it's like a a candy corn it oh, was just something so cool. different yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and we were even talking about this morning that you can unwrap the little um Reese PC cup mm -hmm. or no Reese's, Reese's, Reese's cup Reese's, Reese's cups, cups. Yeah. yeah and then take a pretzel stick and put in it and it kind of looks like a broom mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. So, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money just be creative and have fun right yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of great ideas out there right for the fall right so yeah well I hope that you will try these ideas with your family at home Please send us pictures with you and your children making these wonderful treats. The email address is hopecenter.adm at gmail.com. We will show your pictures on the next Hope Happening show. Thank you for watching Hope Happening. And remember to visit our website at hopecenterconnorsville.com for more information about our services. Remember, hope can change everything.